This is the closest I think we've came in a very long time. So many dogs looking for a second chance, a chance that some of them may never get. As in Kenneth, if they continue on the path they're on, the no-kill shelter may have to change policy. We haven't had to euthanize for space in 14 years, but we have come very close, closer than we like. The facility is close to capacity, which means they would be forced to euthanize some of the dogs and don't have too much space to begin with and combine that with the dogs being dumped in town. It's a perfect storm. We do have cameras at our facility, but a lot get dumped near our area, so it makes it very difficult. And it puts these dogs' futures in question. Tina Pettix, the director of the Humane Department, said she could not imagine getting to that stage, saying when you care for them like this, you create a bond. We get attached. I mean, we do. And we don't want to see any of ours. We want ours to all have a happy ending. They've had such a bad start. The department is trying to find more funding as the past two days they've partnered with scooters in Kennett to raise money and even brought one special guy with them who's even missing a leg. And Pettick said the most important thing is to get your dogs spared. It needs to be done because every 13 seconds in the United States a dog is put down simply because there's nowhere for it to go. In Kennett, Griffin Demeray, Kate News.